Hey guys, welcome back to Tome Time Tea. This is your host, C.T. Russell, here with a discussion video. Today I want to talk about hard copies of books versus ebooks. As technology stretches into new territories, many people have brought up the question of if it will be the end of hard or paper copies of stories and information. So now I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. I will probably go into the pros and cons of each, but let me start off by saying I don't foresee hard copies dying out within my lifetime. I could be wrong, of course, but there is something to be said for having the hard copy of something, something physical that a person can touch, and if given the right opportunity, be signed. There are several books that my nana, or grandmother, as some people say, gave to my mom, and she wrote little notes on the first page. I know she did that for my mom, but it made those hard copies important to me as well. As a bookstagrammer, it is so much easier for me to take nice looking photos when I have a physical copy. Do it for the gram is such a lame reason, but I guess it's also kind of true. When you have a physical copy of a book, you can let someone else borrow it. Oh, uh, wait, is that a good thing? I don't know how many people I would trust with them. Well, if other people buy physical copies of books, you can borrow it from them, if they trust you. I don't. Just kidding. Not really. Not to mention that books smell. I don't care if the book is new or old, I will sniff it. Yes, I am a book sniffer. I have yet to buy one of those candles that are supposed to smell like books, but I've been really tempted. Maybe that's a good one to light up while I'm writing. Light up while I'm writing doesn't sound right. Oh well. That being said, ebooks are more convenient. An ebook does not take up that much space. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I do not have a Beauty and the Beast style library for all my books. I mean, I don't even have a real bookshelf at the moment. But on my iPad, I can store hundreds of books. After moving several times in my life, I can honestly say I love books, but I do not like hauling giant boxes of them up and down stairs. How hard is it to move my iPad? I throw it in my purse. That's it. I can carry around my iPad all day, no problem. Going along with that, iPads and the Kindle app on my phone are so much easier than carrying an actual book around with me when I want to have a book with me. Like when I'm traveling or have a spare moment while doing errands. Currently, I'm subscribed to five different email services that send a list of ebooks that are on sale. Sure, I don't buy every book from the services, and the majority are in a genre I'm not particularly interested in. Romance? I mean, to each their own, but if it has abs on the cover, I'm probably not going to pick it up. But then there are times when I learn about sales on popular books, such as the His Dark Material series. I keep my eyes out for books that I've seen on BookTube but haven't had the chance to buy yet. Ebooks are my wallet's best friend. As much as I love beautiful hard copies of books, I find myself at this point in my life opting for ebook copies. Money is a major reason, and also space. Anyways, these are just my thoughts and feelings, and I want to hear yours. What are your thoughts on the ebooks versus hard copy debate? Is there one that you lean more towards? Are you interested in videos about tea in the future? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.